Hey everyone, good morning, Mikey Hood here. I am on my own fall sweet treat trail and I'm so excited for my first stop. I'm at Appalicious in Carnegie. Here you will find gourmet apples and chocolate covered treats, all handmade by dedicated team members and dipped in smooth chocolate. Good afternoon, Appalicious, this is Paul the Apple Guy. Owner Paul Galeski says their candy apples are made special. Then we take a uh, Granny Smith apple, dunk it in caramel, two layers of milk chocolate, then we roll it in cashews, pecans, Reese's Pieces, and or M&Ms. Five layers of heaven, we call it. I see an apple that has, and these are the, these are the small apples. <laughs> this has my name on it. All right, so we've made our way to Yin's Coffee on the north side, and boy, do they have some fall sweet treats for us. Manager Megan Warren starts us off with a pumpkin latte, perfect for fall. They have a vegan maple bacon syrup that pairs well with espresso and a cold brew with a seasonal touch. So for this season, it is a vanilla cardamom. Perfect for fall. Yeah, and even though it's in a cold drink, it's very warm tones for a drink, and that can be put into our cold brew or our nitro cold brew. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. And nothing pairs better with coffee than a warm donut. So I decided to stop by the farm market at Triple B Farms in Monongahela to try an apple cider donut for the first time. They were so good, I couldn't stop at just one. To end my sweet treat trail, I stick with dessert and head to the pie place in the South Hills, where fall is their busiest time of the year. So we have pumpkin brownies, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin cream pie. We have pumpkin gobs, which are one of my personal favorites. The pumpkin brownies look really rich and tasty too. It's a thick layer of a pumpkin cake-like brownie with chocolate chips and our homemade cream cheese icing. I just always loved baking. I learned um, to bake with my grandmother. Um, the baking side of things, I'm actually self-taught. I end the day eating a huge piece of caramel apple walnut pie. Yes, the entire slice. So good. I'm Mikey Hood for PTL. Mm. <laughs> so jealous. How did she not invite us on that? I know. I it mean, looks so good. And that was great. What a trio. A of, really of stops. good roundup. Yeah. We also want to pass this along to you because I know a lot of people are thinking ahead to Halloween. And if you want to know when trick or treating is scheduled in your neighborhood, go to kdka.com for our handy trick or treat guide. Just click on the red bar at the top of the homepage. It's very easy to find.